Hey guys, welcome back and welcome if this is your first time. So this video makes me so nervous because I'm going to do a full face of makeup using predominantly new makeup, but I am not gonna edit this video at all. So I got this idea from watching Jessica Braun. She um, did a one take, she's done it a couple times and I just thought it was fun. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna do that. And I know it was not original to her. She said she found it someplace. So. I'll link Jessica below, but um, I don't know who originated the idea. Otherwise, I'd give credit. Okay, I'm talking too fast. <laughs> but I am going to put a full face of makeup on with um, out editing this entire video. But I'm also gonna talk and chat and answer some of your questions that you guys have given me in the comments below. I also, the editing I am gonna do is to put um, what I'm using off to the side so you guys can see it so I don't talk about it too much. So, all right, so onto some primer. And this is a newer primer to me and I actually like it very much. But one thing I will say, it's very runny, but it's very hydrating. And I like that. So, okay. So we're getting into the winter months and, well, fall months. And in Pennsylvania, it is very, it's cold at night, but beautiful during the day. Today is a gorgeous Saturday, so loving that. All right, so that's good. The other thing I'm gonna use is this putty from e.l.f. and Rachel has it. I grabbed it out of her room but I wanted to see if it would hide some of my pores. And e.l.f. is such an affordable one. Um, but I get really bad pores up above my, like right here. And it just shows everything. Like everything just settles in on there. And I hate that look. So I'm hoping that this will help. I usually think that most pore filling things don't work but who knows. Okay, so I put the foundation already on my little, this is a candle holder that I got from Ikea. And this foundation that I'm using from Physician's Formula is way too light because I've tanned my face. And um, so it's lighter than what I want, but I'm gonna go ahead and use it and I'll just, I'll just bronze my face up more so that it kind of blends a little bit more. So, okay. I'm using these beaky sponges that I told you guys about recently. I love, so I'll link those below. And I think that my, um, uh, I'm like talking to, see, I can't cut that out. <laughs> um, I think that my coupon code will still work on Amazon. So I'll link it with it because that's pretty recent. I would think it would. Okay. So, what's new with me? What's new with me? <sighs> school has gone well so far. Nobody at our school has gotten sick, so that's been great. Um, and I'm wearing masks every day still, so that's, oh, it is what it is. I wouldn't say it's great, but it is what it is. Okay, so this is real, you guys can see, you can still see my skin, so it's really a light coverage, but probably in the dead of winter, I will not be able to wear this because my skin just doesn't look as good in the dead of winter when it's much more dry and parched, although I'm trying to alleviate that. I'm hoping, I've taken some extra steps I'm gonna talk about in another video to help alleviate that. I did pretty well last winter, so I'm hoping to continue. I've added one more thing. Well, maybe two more things, but you guys will see it in another video. So I'm gonna actually um, build this up a little bit, see if I can get a little bit more coverage. I have some hyperpigmentation there. I always have it above my lip. It always looks like I've put my lipstick on and it's above, I hate it. I'll always look at my face and go, okay, like, is it is my lipstick on my lip because I have this redness here? And I've covered it up a little bit, but it's always there. Okay. So, okay, so my um, membership thing that I started that was the big debacle, that thing is all down. And a lot of people have asked me, like, are you going to do something else? And by the way, my, like, 
video that I put out that said I had made a mistake. I've actually taken it down at this point because I don't want it to focus on that kind of stuff. I wanted to give the information out and then be done with the whole thing. On that, you guys were incredibly, incredibly sweet. I think I had over 300 comments of people and all positive, all just, you didn't make a mistake, you're wonderful. It was just, you guys, thank you. Thank you for just lifting me up and making me feel like everything was okay. I just, I love you guys. I just feel blessed to have such an amazing group of people. You know, my core people who have been watching me and some of you who are new, you guys are just so sweet. So looking forward, what am I gonna do? I am considering, and I actually want you guys to comment below. And this is risky, I'm saying this, because this I can't cut out if I change my mind. But I don't think I will, because I've really been thinking about this. I have been, and I even thought about it before I did the other membership thing, but I didn't really know how to do it. And the membership theme thing seemed easier. Clearly, I was wrong on that one. But um, anyway, see, I'll get to talking and never finish doing my skin. Okay, let me check and make sure it looks good. Yeah, okay. Oh my word, that putty stuff? Wow, that stuff works good. I do not see my pores. Oh, I am very excited over that, guys. That is the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. Boy, say that three times fast. Now, it is going into my, my foundation. This foundation is going into my lines, which that always happens. But wow, I'm really thrilled with that. Okay, I might be taking this from my daughter <laughs> or buying a new one because this is so cheap. I mean, what? I think maybe six bucks, maybe 10. I don't know. It's a very affordable and it's got a ton in it. I mean, it's a lot. So, okay, I digress. On to what, I, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So can't cut this out. Okay. So I am considering you guys, if you're new, if this is the first video you've watched of me, I am still in the process of losing between 70 to 90 pounds about that. I've lost 55, gained and lost a little bit in there and lost my way in the middle of it. But I'm committed to going again, and you guys know that because I put a video out about that. So that's going relatively well. It's slow. I'm 50. I'm 54 next Saturday. October 10th is my birthday. 54. 55 seems scary to me. But okay, you guys are all like, would you just tell us <laughs> what you were going to do? Wait, what am I doing next? I'm doing powder. Okay, so I think I am going to start a Patreon account. And so many of you said this to me. Why don't you just start a Patreon account and, and do that? And I have had thought about it in the beginning, but it was just the unknown. And I was trying to keep everything on YouTube. And that's why I did the membership. But Patreon seems like a viable option because what I want to do is to start a like weight loss support group. So some of you that would not, <clears throat> you would not be interested in that. <clears throat> Excuse my cough. Um, but a lot of you would. I know a lot of you have found my channel through my weight loss videos. And I wanted to support and I just feel like we need support and I know I need support and accountability and someone to talk to about it and just having this conversation. So I've, I'm have i looking into starting an online support group and it would be two ways. It would be a private Facebook group where we could talk and chat and talk to each other, give our, our um, successes and our failures and our struggles and put it all out there and we can all chat together and I would love that. Then also, um, and this would be something you'd have to pay for, Patreon is something you pay for, um, but also have Zoom calls that would be exclusive for this group where we would talk one-on-one -on -one where you guys could talk together. Now, I am not really familiar with Zoom. I've done it, but I've not been like the one in charge of it. So I have to teach myself this and that's why I shied away from it before. But I also am not a huge fan of live videos. I just don't like them. And um, it's hard to be the one 
on the other end where you just have to talk, 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 and nobody can give you feedback except typing, and then you're sitting there reading it, and it's so, ah, just, I learned that, even with just the couple that I've done. So, I, I need to keep going, or this video is going to be an hour long. If you hear squeaking, that is my chair. Okay, I, I it's the perfect height, but it squeaks. Okay, so, I am considering starting a Patreon account exclusively for that. Now, I will not do this till the new year. I'm, I'm waiting because I gotta teach it. I gotta make sure this is something y'all want, like a good amount of you who would want it. I know I put it on my Instagram a while back, like a month or so ago, and a lot of people said they were interested, but on Instagram, I did not say it was a cost. And I wouldn't make it expensive. I probably would make it like five bucks a month or something like that. So guys, comment below and tell me, is this something you would be interested in? It would be, you would pay five bucks a month, I think. This is all relative, so you know, all this can change. It would be an online, it would be a Facebook group where we can all exclusively talk about weight loss and the struggles and everything. And so this is all weight loss centered. And then a Zoom call, maybe once a month, a couple times a month, maybe more than that, I don't know, where we would just have that support group. Maybe once a week, we need it, I don't know. And just getting together and being able to chat and talk to each other and I could do breakout rooms where you guys could all chat together with different subjects, because you, you can do that in Zoom. And then um, I thought about bringing a, some, some experts to come in and talk about different things, like um, other YouTubers who focus on other things like um, exercise or um, just health-related things for women who are 50 plus and also wanting to lose weight. So tell me, put in your comments below, tell me, is this something that you're like, yes, absolutely sign me up or even say, nope, I'm not interested. And if you're not in a weight loss journey, please don't say you're not interested because I know you're not interested. But if you are on a weight loss journey and you're still not interested, say that. But tell me why. And if it's the money, that's fine. So I don't know. I just, it's something I'm putting out there. I have, n there's no guarantee. Okay, on to my makeup. Oh, I'm so squeaky. Okay, so this is all done. I've powdered my t-zone basically here and here not here because i'm going to be using some cream products here but i like this foundation it is a little light for me but it did blend in because it's so sheer so okay onto my brows which is such a struggle doing on um, you know with you guys watching me i need my brush okay so um what else what else so yes, no, I shouldn't, you guys gotta see this, yes, no. My husband does not have a job still. Okay, how to do this and talk to you guys and see is a strain, but <laughs> I'm filming a video. Oh, 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 I have to finish my thought. Yes, my husband does not, or no, my husband does not have a job yet. He is um, still working on that. He has sent about 500 applications, not sent, filled out online. About 500, he said. I'm like, oh my gosh, do you know how much time that takes? Okay, I can totally not talk and get good eyebrows. That's a struggle. Okay, now if you guys can see, somebody asked me to do an updated, like a, um, a very detailed how I do my brows video. And I may do that at some point, but it's really hard to get close up. I have such a hard time getting close up so you guys can see it and um, I can do it where I can see it and you know. Okay, <laughs> this is a train wreck. Jessica was so worried when she was doing this, and now I feel her consternation with this. This is a struggle. Okay. Um, okay, some people have asked me, you've seen that there's somebody living with us, and you, some are like, well, who is this person? Who is this dog? So we do have a girl, Rachel's best friend, living with us. Her name is Jess. Um, she is, we're just helping her out as she goes to her next step, and we let her move in about three months ago. And she has a dog named Paxton that you guys have seen, especially on um, Instagram. 
And so we're helping her um, just get on her feet financially and to be able to go to the next step in her life, whatever that may be. So we're working her with her on that. And yeah, so that's who that is. Um, okay. I know I'm quiet, but I have to not talk so I can look at my eyebrows. How do they look? Okay, not great, but I'm going on. <laughs> um, okay. I can't think of the other questions you guys have asked. Oh, I get asked all the time where I buy my sweaters. And someone just asked me again, where do you get your clothing? I have answered this question before. But I will answer it again because I know you guys can't always know and remember. I buy my clothing predominantly from wherever it's cheap. So I will do um, Talbot's Outlet, which I know is not the best quality sometimes, surprisingly enough. But um, I can get pretty good styles there. I do think it caters to an older older, more conservative look than I want to be. But um, you can find some good um, like basics there. And their pants I can find fit me so much better than many of the other ones because I am bigger on my hips and my butt and my legs, but my waist is much it's just not proportioned that way. And you can find pants that have a much thinner waist and then will still fit over my hips and butts. Butts. But I have that problem even when I'm much thinner. I just, I have, that's just the way I'm proportioned. And so I struggle finding pants that will fit me. And that is where I can find them pretty well. And I'm willing to spend the money for um, pants, especially at, because I have a hard time. All right, how do they look? They are not matching. Do you know how many times I redo my eyebrows? Not redo them, but just kind of look at them and go, Bobby, they don't match at all. Like, how did you even think that looked good? <laughs> you guys have witnessed that. But see, this one's always my problem one. Always my problem one. You know how you can do one eyebrow and it looks great and the other one is just like askew? My right one, always. this one always looks better than this one. This one, and... Another issue I have is this eyebrow is lower than this one. So I have such a hard time. I will look up close and go, oh, it looks good. And I'll go back and I'll go, okay, like you guys know my saying, like they shouldn't look like twin sisters. They should look like they are related in some way. And I always say like they look like they're from distant cousins from, you know, they look like they're distant cousins really. But yeah. <laughs> okay. If I were uh, if I were editing person, I would redo this, but I can't edit it and it's not looking good, but I I'm going on. I'm just going to go on. Okay, I have to film after this, so I may redo it before I film after this. But my next step is to put on like a a gel that's just a brown color just to make them look a little bit more natural. And I have something on my eye right there. Okay, and this is from e.l.f. and it is pretty dry. I need to get a new one. Yeah, it's hardly covering anymore. Oh my. All right, the next thing would be I do a concealer on my eyelids because I just like that look. And I use a Real Techniques brush and I just brush it on all over. And it just covers my veins and all that. A lot of people are like, use a primer, but I like this so much better. And I don't like using a foundation on my lids because I feel like it creases so much more where a concealer is meant to try not to crease, although it still does. But I just do it all over. And then I use a color um, eyeshadow with a pretty big brush and I just tap it off and put it all over it. And it just kind of um, seals it, not seals it, 
sets it <laughs> and then it doesn't crease as much. It still can crease. I still have to check it, but I just like this look. I'm not going to do any eyeshadow or anything beyond that. You guys know me. I'm not a huge eyeshadow person. I wish I was. I'm not. Okay. One of my other tricks is when I've done stuff under my eyes is I'll take one of these little brushes and I'll just kind of get any extra foundation that has been creasing. And then I don't have to put more powder on my face. It usually then at that point is done and that's good. Okay, my eyebrows are bothering me. So I just bought, let me get my mascara. What did I do with my mascara? I thought I had it here. Oh no. <laughs> okay, talk amongst yourselves. Okay, okay, Bobby, really have it with you. <laughs> okay, I just bought a heated cur uh, eyelash curler. I tried it last night. I'm not sure about that. I'm not gonna do it on camera, I'm gonna do my normal, but I was kinda like, I don't know, let's try it. I got it on Amazon, it had pretty good reviews. But I tried it and I wasn't like, oh, this is the best thing ever. And they say to use it after you put mascara on. So it was, at the end of the day, I had mascara on. I don't know. I wasn't that thrilled. Okay, I'll go this way so you guys can see my face instead of this thing. Um, okay. So what else? The election. No, I'm not getting political, but I will just say, please vote. And I cannot wait till it's over. I just cannot, cannot wait. I am not a big political person. I, I follow politics because obviously, okay, with my left hand, I have to have two hands to squeeze it because my left hand is weaker with um, arthritis. But I um, obviously follow politics to know enough how I want to vote but I am not one to debate it. I, we talk about politics with our kids some and with my friends and obviously people who have the same kind of thought processes we do with politics, but we're not big. In, I, I will not post on Facebook about it. I just don't feel like, I feel like if I'm posting things that are dividing, then I just don't think it's something that needs to be said. And I don't like to anger people and I don't know. I just, I'm not into it. And I get pretty annoyed listening to people who are constantly posting political rhetoric on Facebook. I just get, I get tired of it. And I literally mute some people, some of my friends during the election time and I unmute them afterwards <laughs> because I just get tired of hearing it. So, yeah, but I will say that as an American, I believe it is, our, it is our responsibility to be informed about politics as far as what the candidates stand for and what your belief system is. I believe that that is something you should be doing, and I do believe that we all should be voting, and, I, and don't just blindly vote because that's what you've always done, like your party line, but to absolutely look at each candidate and what they stand for. I do believe in that. So um, hopefully that's not controversial because that's not what this channel is. I don't talk about controversial things unless, you know, you really don't like this mascara that I'm using and then, the, then you're mad at me for using it. <laughs> Okay, so go out and vote. Please go out and vote. And, or if you believe it's okay to do the mail-in, I am going to be going in to vote because I want to actually go. But I get it that other people don't want to do that. So no judgment if that's what you're choosing to do. Okay, I'm probably getting myself in trouble just saying that. Okay, this mascara is getting dry. But I actually like this mascara a lot. 
and it does a pretty good job. Okay. Um, what else was I going to talk to you guys about? My mind has gone blank. See, if I'm editing, I can stop and go, okay, Bobby, what were you going to say? <laughs> I can't, I can't do that. Ah, I am working on, I'll tell you what I'm working on. I'm excited about this. I am working on a series of videos and this is absolutely going to happen because I'm almost to the point of filming one of them. A series of videos that I'm going to do with Rachel on a buying guide for Christmas for your daughter who is an adult. Like, you know, in her upper teens, like 18, 19, and then up. And she and I have been going through lists and we're um, coming up with... Oh, I have a eyelash. There. We're coming up with... Um, different series, like ones that are under 50, ones that are above 50, and stocking stuffers. I think it's going to be three videos. So I am excited about that, and um, I'm excited to put it out. And I have one of them is actually going to be a sponsored video, my first one. So that's kind of fun. Um, and I'm excited about the product. And so that's coming up probably, well, I know it has to be out the end of December because that's what I agreed upon. And I'm going to be doing that with Rachel, and that'll be a lot of fun. I have a few different, and I'm trying to do products in it that are not the typical, you know, what you always see, but some unique kind of gifts that um, you could pick it from and things. So I'm excited about that. I also have updated my Amazon storefront and I've kind of rearranged a little bit and I made a um, a section of it for a gifts gifts for adult children for so for my son and my daughter and so I am excited about that so you can get a little sneak peek because some of those products are in there so you guys can go in there and look if you want to look sneak peek but not all the products are in it um, so that's coming up I'm working on that after this video is done and I'm done filming this, I'm going to be filming another video, which I think it'll be up before this video is, I'm pretty sure. So I will link it below, but it's a collaboration with a bunch of other YouTubers who are of mature age. And it's our favorite, five favorite things to do or buy, or it's a whole collab. We had very much freedom. Um, for fall. Like it's our five favorite things to do in the fall. And so I'm filming that right after this one. I filmed a lot of the B-roll already, but I haven't filmed the main talking part. Well, I did and I had to redo it because it was a train wreck. So um, sometimes when I'm filming, I am like on, like I can talk and it just, everything just flows. And sometimes I'm like bab, like right now, babbling and nothing seems to flow. And it's, and I was editing my video and it was just like, oh, Bobby, you just did not have a clear thought in your mind the entire time. So, okay, on to bronzer. I have my mascara on. I'm doing obviously a very simple look. So I'm gonna do a bronzer and I'm gonna do a cream and it's gonna look scary. Well, this is more like a contour. And I am going to buff it out. So I love the look of a contour, but I like it to look as natural as possible. And it's going to look sh extreme in the beginning because I'm going to blend it out more. But I don't like to use cream on like I see people go cream, cream, cream. I'm not going to do that. But um, I like it to look relatively natural, but it'll blend more. Okay. So that's some contour. I'm going to use a new thing to me, which is Clinique's bronzer. Isn't it pretty? Look at how pretty that is. It's got flowers, but who cares? <laughs> that's gonna go away. I'm not big on, I don't, it annoys me. <laughs> Things that annoy Bobby. It annoys me when YouTubers are like, I bought this because the packaging. I don't get that. They're like, or, you know, I liked it because it's it's going to sit on my, <clears throat> on my table. And I just thought it looked pretty. 
I don't understand that concept. I literally am like, I don't care what it looks like. Does it work? Like, yes, I guess it's pretty, like this is pretty, but I'm going to be buffing this. Okay, I had to stop because it stopped recording, but I said nothing. I will not edit it out. Okay, so I don't let, it's gonna buff out. I'm not even gonna use that. So what is the, I don't know, I don't get that. Okay, if that meant, if that stopped recording, that means this is so long and I really need to hurry. Okay, look at my hair. It's like all over the place. Maybe you guys can't see that, but okay. Let's put on some blush. Blush, okay, I'm gonna use a cream blush as well. Oh my word, I can hear the dog downstairs going crazy. Um, and I'm gonna use this same brush. And just blend that out. It's looking kind of extreme on my camera, but not as I look here. So I'm not sure if the lighting is going to be good, but I am gonna turn my lights off and let you guys see this at the end. Cause I have a ring light on me now, you probably can tell. Okay. So, what else? Oh, another video I'm excited about. Rachel said she would do this with me as well. We are going to possibly do, okay, that, I like how that looks. We are possibly going to do a video together with makeup, and I am going to use exactly what she uses. So, she's 21, has pretty much flawless skin most of the time. <laughs> So this should be interesting. My skin's not bad, but it's certainly not flawless like her. She's 21, hello. But I am excited because I think it'll be cute and um, I think it'll be fun. So I'm actually, she's literally, we're going to literally, she's gonna put it on her face and then I'm gonna put it on mine and the way she does it. And she's, I think we're gonna actually do false eyelashes because I've never done that, like on camera. I don't wear false eyelashes, I just don't. Okay, lipstick, lipstick, lipstick. I'm gonna do one of my favorite combinations of lipstick. So this actually isn't even lipstick, this is lip liner. And I'm gonna just line, uh, that is on my face, a uh, uh, fuzzy. Okay, so Rachel said she would do it with me and I had a hard time talking. <laughs> well, you guys are listening. Or... <laughs> okay, as the person watching this who usually edits, I cannot tell you how much I want to just take this part I might out. add <laughs> music here. Can I edit music in? <laughs> Am I allowed? Okay. Kind of a little boring. See, this is, you see the red coming up? I don't know if you guys can pick that up, but, oh, there's the fuzzy right on the, ah, get off. Okay, so I fill this in completely. So it's very dry, very dry. But then I use the Buxom and it's in this kind of like brown, it's called Moscow Mule and it just gives this pretty, more brownish, brownish rosy look. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna talk about it in my video. And my next one. Cause it's just pretty. Okay. All right, so simple, simple look. Still a little extreme, but the thing I like to do at the end is to take this kabuki brush or buki or kabuki, I don't know, it's from e.l.f., it's very cheap, and just kind of blend again everything out, just so I know things are looking good. It's just like my last step. All right, hair has not been done, but I will take it out. And I literally woke up and haven't done anything to it except put it up in a clip. But there. All right, guys, so that was one take. Ah, that was nerve wracking. And who knows how long this is gonna be, but I gotta shut up because it'll just keep going. So guys, these are two videos you may wanna go see. I gotta get back so you guys can see them. 
two other videos you may want to watch after this one, and I will see you guys in the next one. God bless.